Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Are you tired of chasing bladderfish around the seabed? Well, of course you are. You need some water, you need it quickly. Now the water filtration machine is going to be the device for you. But where do you find it? Well, I'm going to show you how and it's really easy. Now from your starting location, you're going to head northwest and you're going to come across the landmass, the starting location where you jumped into the water at the beginning of the game. And what you're going to do, you're going to follow this all the way around to our location. Now with the landmass on your left hand side and using your mode of transport, whether that be the sea guide, the sea truck or just swimming, make your way along the coastline underwater of course don't forget to keep coming up for air because it is quite a long way away you're going to be about 300 meters away from your starting pod and once you get to these root type structures hanging down from the bottom of the icebergs you're going to know exactly where you are right that's exactly where you need to be when they get a bit more dense you want to start looking to the left hand side you see these stalactites and then start looking for a way up once you get to the way up you'll come across the island where if you played the beta you'll know exactly where you are if you haven't it's all going to be new to you this is the island of base zero outpost zero now this was the original starting location in the alpha uh, after the story was repurposed in subnautica below zero there's going to be loads of things to find here get your scanner out first things you're going to see is those light sticks give them a good scan that's a blueprint for you also the snowman give that a good scan as well. But you can't help but notice the large base in the middle of the screen. This is gonna have loads of stuff in it. For example, the large room, there's gonna be prawn suit fragments, there's gonna be bulkhead doors, and the water filtration system. There's gonna be cupboards, there's gonna be food. Make sure you've got, have a lot of inventory space as well. Okay, once you've scanned the large room fragment, which is really quite important for this because you've got to have somewhere for your water filtration unit to go time to head inside once you're inside it's going to be a treasure trove of items to be scanning you'd be scanning left right and center but we're here to talk about the water filtration machine and that's what we've just scanned but good job you scanned that large blueprint for the large room hey because you're going to need somewhere to put this unit yes it will fit into a multi-purpose room but to be fair you're going to need an awful lot of space. Now the water filtration system, what does it do? Well, it takes normal seawater and turns it into drinkable water. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't do this instantaneously. There is a process that it has to go through. Once you've got power to your particular base and you've installed the filtration machine, it'll start going and doing its funky stuff. And eventually, and I say eventually, water will pop out along with salt. Once it's finished filling the bottle, click on the item, remove the salt, remove the water, and away you go. You'll never go thirsty again. That's unless you forget your water, but that's a different video. I've been Ricardo, thanks for watching. See you soon.